explain it. To explain it is quite bizarre. Yeah, to, to have to ex to have to explain why Jeremy Corbyn is electable. I thought we already did that last year. I thought we proved he was electable by electing him. Um, by electing him <laughs> um, and trying to return Labour back to what is supposed to got something for everybody: young, old, disabled, everybody. And we, li we like his policies, we like, I like his policies, and uh, because he's so honest that I know if he becomes a Prime Minister, he will definitely carry them through. And I've never said that about any politician at all. Why well, do I support Jeremy Corbyn? Well, um, I've been aware of his politics for many, many years, uh, and I've agreed with him because I'm on the left as well. But also, I mean, he is the democratically elected leader of the Labour Party, and um, I think that uh, as the mass of the membership supported him in the first instance, I would imagine they would do it in the second one as well, even though 130,000 of them are being excluded. Included. But nevertheless, I think with this sort of movement that we've seen today, and these sort of developing movements, these broad alliances that we're building uh, at their early stages, and Corbyn's got a role to play in that. He's always been on these platforms over many years. Um, I think that uh, this is what change is all about. Because capitalism can't actually provide anything. It can't provide jobs, can't provide housing, can't provide a decent health service or education, social services. Everything's under attack. And if it doesn't make money, they're not really interested. Well, I think Jeremy's electable because how many politicians do you know who can take 172 knives in their back and still be standing and still being calm and still being able to say to those people, you know, we can come back, we can work together. These are the sort, that's the sort of person you want who's negotiating with Vladimir Putin over Crimea, not someone who's just going to lose a vote by 4% and resign and quit straight away. Not someone who's just going to have cabinet ministers go against them and then not be able to, you know, reach compliance with them. Um, yeah. I would vote for Jeremy Corbyn and I think he's very much electable because normal working people have had enough of big business politics and we think that uh, Jeremy Corbyn is a candidate that we can support. Um, and, uh, he's, sorry. <laughs> I, I think Jeremy Corbyn is electable because he stands up for making people better off. He stands up against racism, he stands against war, and I think those policies are actually very popular. I think people don't want a load of money being spent on wars when we don't have enough money being spent on schools and hospitals and other public services. Why is Jeremy Corbyn electable? Um, well, the question is why is he not electable? He represents what people want and what people need. Um, the rest of it is just propaganda. I don't understand why is he not electable. I can't get a decent answer out of people to that question. Um, he is what he represents within this democracy, what, what people want and need. Simple as that. I think Jeremy Corbyn's electable because it's the first time in a long time I've heard a politician say something that I believe in. Um, I, I work for the NHS, I come from a pretty poor family in, in the past and I had a lot of life chances that I'm seeing young people are not getting now. Um, you know, and I'm seeing, you know, there's a lot of cuts to public services that Jeremy's looking at reversing. And I think they're the best thing about this country is that we've got a lot of these public services. I think it's very genuine. Uh, I don't care if he's not like all polished and he's all, you know, full of kind of, um, you know, the talk about charisma. But to me, he's got genuineness, which is more meaningful. Actable because he's the only honest person that we have in Parliament who will stand up for justice, workers' rights, women's rights, anti-racism, and I certainly believe that he will do what he says he's going to do. For Corbyn, because he's something different to what we have had all these years. And I can see that the people in the establishment, or let's call them the parliamentary Labour Party, are very worried about the fact that Corbyn is actually electable. We've got water. I think Jeremy. 
Henry Corbyn is electable um, from our... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I would vote for Jeremy Corbyn. Um, I think he's electable. Our political elite that we have at the moment, Jeremy Corbyn represents something different. He's for the people. Oh, great. Okay. So just look straight into the lens and be sincere. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think uh, Jeremy Corbyn is a good person to support. He isn't gung-ho, but I think that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Right. Okay, I think Jeremy Corbyn is a good person to support. He isn't gung-ho, but personally I think that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Other politicians have been very gung-ho, but it's got us into a lot of trouble. I think Corbyn is electable because he's literally the only person out there who's calling for anti-austerity to bring back a sort of more humane welfare state um, and to fund our NHS and things like that. I think he's the only option we have right now. I think Corbyn is electable because he actually stands for something. Um, he stands for values that we want to see put in practice and we can't see those put in practice by anyone else. The biggest reason why I know Jeremy Corbyn is electable is because the establishment are fighting so hard to undermine his position as a Labour Party and they're coming together to try and assassinate his character. And they wouldn't be doing that if they thought he was unelectable, they'd leave him to fail. The fact the establishment are so scared uh, demonstrates to me the exact reason why he would win a general election. I think that Corbyn is electable because he cares about the people that need the most help. He um, cares about the people that have been hit hardest by all of the cuts that have been put in place by the Tory government. And I think that he could make a real difference if he was elected. Jeremy's electable because he's the only gentleman in a den of thieves. Electable candidates in an election. Yeah. That's what makes him electable. He's proved it. Yeah, okay. I would vote for Corbyn because his policies are about things which actually affect real people's lives. Jeremy, because I think he's a genuine person and he's fueled by love and not hate. I would vote for Jeremy because I think he's a fantastic leader. He's the guy with a lot of ideas about what kind of policies we need. He's back to old Labour. Um, he's personable and he's got strength. He might do it a different way, but that's the way that we have to learn. That's the way we move forward. We for Jeremy because he speaks my language. I'm working class, my family's working class, and as I say, he speaks my language and I think he's the leader that can take me and my family in this community into a Britain that we can feel safe in, we can feel valued in, and it's a kind of Britain I would like to see. Uh, I will vote, vote for Jeremy Corbyn because I think that his policies are the policies that uh, not just the country but all the world needs. Anti-austerity policies, policies that put the people first and not... One of the politicians, I think he speaks for the people the most. I think he has a better understanding and grasp of what we need and what we want. Uh, and like I said, out of all the politicians, he's helping us the most. He's 